Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about what to do if your Google My Business listing is marked as a duplicate location erroneously. Right, so here you'll see that one of my listings has been marked as a duplicate. And uh, this is not correct. It's actually a different business, even though there's another business at the same address. And you'll notice that if you click the learn more button, it'll say business was marked as a duplicate and it doesn't actually bring you anywhere useful. Um, it asks you some questions. Is this business verified in another account which you can control? And I mean, if you are the owner, you say yes or no, but if you're an SEO manager, you can say yes or no. So let's just say, yes, it's going to say, hey, just transfer it over. Well, that's not helpful at all. If we refresh it and, and click, uh, it won't even let me, let's say, uh, we'll check no here. And then are you able to verify the con? Well, I'm the, I'm the contact, I'm the manager. So we'll hit yes. And it says, well, just add yourself as a manager. So it's not letting you. Um, say hey, this is not a duplicate it, all it's basically saying is it's a duplicate and the computer like too bad for you It's a duplicate um, just get control of the real listing Which is sometimes the case where you have a duplicate that is a real duplicate But in this case the duplicate is, is wrong So what you'll need to do is and there's nothing you can't click it here You have to go to the Google My Business uh, reinstatement request form and I'll put that link in the description and basically you have to go through these steps and we'll go through them together. Have you already submitted and we'll hit no? Are you the official representative? Yes. Did you read the the, the guidelines? Yes. Uh, are you located? Yes. Um, yes. Uh, does your business operate in a service area? So that could either be yes or no depending on what it is. Let's say uh, yes and it is uh, not at your location so it's no for this and we will put yes to here and we do not that's the whole point and then you put in all your information and then at the bottom here you put in your phone number and you put in any specific images uh, description so that support can um, do this quickly they're less back and forth you can do because it takes time um, right now but the support the less back and forth you can have the better so put as much information if you have pictures of a different entrance if you have signage if you have a bill with with a specific um, name and address on it um, any kind of proof whatsoever uh, that you have that will show that it's not a duplicate um, add those in and choose a file and, and do that and then hit the submit button. Now you won't get an answer right away. You won't get an automated email saying, thank you for your, your information or anything like that. Basically you have to wait and sit. Um, and sometimes it'll take 24 hours and sometimes it'll take two weeks. It depends on, on how backlogged support is. Um, normally with the reinstatements, they try to go a little bit faster. Um, just because your listing isn't live anymore and so they they'll prioritize that but in general um, if you don't give them all the information it might sit for a while so that's what to do with the duplicate listing to try to fix it it, it will take a few days unfortunately and, and that's just how Google my business is right now so there's nothing really you can do to avoid it if the algorithm just automatically flags it like that so anyway that's what you do if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. You can subscribe. I'll bring you regular updates on what to do with your GMB listings. So thanks for watching and I hope that this has helped you.